The new World of Warcraft expansion is finally here, and with it comes... disappointment. It's no big secret that Blizzard has lost their touch and all the goodwill they've had with their people over the last few years. There are many people who say Blizzard's not the same since Wrath of the Lich King, let alone, what, 10 expansions since then? Between the mess that's Call of Duty, the mess that was the Overwatch 2 launch, the mess that was Diablo 4, and still is kind of in my opinion, though I know that's kind of a, hmm, contested point. The blizzard we knew is long gone. The blizzard that when a game came out, people took time off from work and was super excited to play and would play nonstop for hours and hours and hours on end. The genre defining world shaking games that would go on to make so many different genres such as Diablo 1, Warcraft and Starcraft. Even World of Warcraft when it came out had so many revolutionary things that it changed the landscape of MMOs forever. The War Within does none of this. And keep the review short and sweet, uh, so you don't have to skip to the end or anything like that. Overall, I give this expansion a 3 out of 10. It's pretty abysmal. Like, we got a new race, we got new dwarves, but there's not a single person in the world who asked for more dwarves. We got hero classes that we've been begging for since literally classic WoW. Dark Rangers, except for it's just a few passive talents and one ability. Mountain Kings from Warcraft 3, yes please except for it just calls down a little bit of lightning here and there. The quests are the same recycled thing you can always expect. Go here, kill 10 of these enemies, collect five of these. Like, it's just the same old content we've seen for 20 years. Sure, that was acceptable in 2004 when it was fresh and new, but can't Blizzard come up with anything new and exciting? They even managed to make things that should be exciting, horribly boring. Like I found a quest that I was super excited for. It was like a murder mystery quest. Ooh, that's going to be really cool. How am I going to go about this? Well, uh, you right click on three different things and then walk over and kill the murderer. No murder mystery, no in-depth mechanics, no nothing. Just a standard point and click here, click here, click here. Okay, go kill that guy. Quest complete. Just another go kill XYZ quest complete quest. For a murder mystery, there's so much more they could have done with that. I know I'm going to catch some flack for this, but I feel like the zones are very lifeless and void. And I know that everyone loves the new zone that has a giant crystal in it that changes from dark to light. That is a cool mechanic, but it doesn't do anything. Imagine if when the zone changed from dark to light, there were different monsters coming out, different events, different things. So far from what I've seen, that doesn't happen. It's just, okay, now it's a little bit darker. Like, cool idea, terrible execution. I remember being so excited every time a new zone came out. It meant that I got to explore that zone in and out, look for places to role play, look for hidden quests, look for something that's secret, look for all the cool goodies, all the hidden stuff among it. I really don't get that feeling anymore. Like, the zones are clearly made for lying, of flying, excuse me, and they just want you to fly over everything. It seems like it's just, here's a quest hub, here's a quest hub, here's a quest hub, and in between those quest hubs, there's really nothing. Now, usually the art team comes in and saves the day. The cinematics team is usually on the ball, incredible, and the art team really brings it to the next level, almost every single expansion. And this time, they failed. Like, with the pre-expansion for the last few expansions... There were so many cool cinematics and so many cool stories being told. Like, even though Warlords of Draenor failed miserably, the lead up to it with the Warbringer series was just so peak. That was incredible storytelling. The art was beautiful. I would love to see an entire series made out of that. For this one, the art was this knockoff anime mass style, and we're following yet another Windrunner. And I, I just I got to rant about this. They're recycling the same stories. It's a Windrunner story about revenge. Hmm. Wonder where I've seen that before. Anduin feels unworthy and can't call on the light anymore. Oh, wait, Thrall did that like three expansions ago. Like it's the same story over and over again. The reason why people loved the first couple WoW games was we had Arthas, we had Illidan, we had these real villains that we've built up. We had these real villains that mattered. Now we've got some chick who was stuck in a sword for a while, and now I don't, I don't even know what she's doing. She's trying to destroy the world because 
that's what evil people do is trying to destroy the world. Like it's a very terrible villain in a very terrible story that's been told a million times in wow before already. And before people come at me and say I'm oversimplifying the lore or I don't understand it, here's the thing. I was a lore master in the game. I spent hours learning all the lore because I told stories, did fan fiction, and role play within the universe. I deeply care and respect the lore for this game, and I love the world that World of Warcraft is set within. But Blizzard does not. They have no respect for it. And the fact that I don't care about this villain isn't a failing on my part. That's a failing on the storytellers. The fact of the matter is there's just no more reason to care about the world or Azeroth as a whole between the fact that we've been to the afterlife and that that expansion was absolutely terrible, but it desecrated the lore. We've got all these different AUs that desecrate the lore, and now we've got all the timey-wimey stuff going on with all the dragons. Like It just doesn't matter. Nothing matters because of the way the lore is set up and all these different AUs and all these different things. There's no real danger. It just doesn't matter. And I'm just going to continue going on all the failures here. As you can see, I finally got into a dungeon here and uh, tanks are way over tuned in the dungeon. So every dungeon is literally just pull the entire instance, AOE everything down, collect the loot and leave in five minutes. Like absolutely terrible. And if you spam these for about four or five hours, you'll hit max level. What's the point of leveling and what's the point of dungeons if it's clear the makers don't care about it? They don't want you to level. They just add levels because people expect to level up each expansion, but they put zero love and zero effort into it. Same thing with these dungeons. It's very clear that they want these dungeons to be Mythic Plus because Mythic Plus is now their baby, but they get zero thought to the dungeons outside of Mythic Plus. This isn't fun to have all this garbage flying all over the floor. I can't see anything, and I'm just spamming two buttons to take everything down. And man, oh man, do they spam thing. There are so many dungeons that I've run now. Now, granted, there's only three that you can access, three or four. But they uh, they have so much garbage going on. And part of that's because we're pulling everything. Because, again, there's no point in doing anything other than that because it's inefficient. There are times where you'll be stunned for five, six, seven hours just because so much garbage is on the floor. is flying around, knocking around. There's just so much going on. It's a terrible experience. Losing control of your character is terrible. Not be able to see what's going on is terrible. And the dungeons are designed, again, clearly for Mythic Plus, which means they don't care about these low-level dungeons, so why bother with them? PvP is in the worst state that it's ever been in, and that is typically one of the few things I care about in this game. Like, I used to be a raider. I don't raid anymore. I don't like raiding. I don't like Mythic Plus. I don't like running the same content over and over and over and over again and having the same experience, the thrill of completing the dungeon three seconds faster than someone else that that doesn't do it for me. So I don't care about mythic plus or rating, but I do care about PVP and man is it an abysmal state. Not only is every class so homogenized now, why do mages have teleports and heals and invulnerability, all the skill sets of paladins, all the skill sets of other classes baked into them? Why can my fury warrior heal as much as a healer? Why can a brewmaster tank out heal a healer? Let me paint you a picture of a fight I had with a mage. One versus one, no one else got involved until the very end. Okay, open up on the mage, he's unaware of me, gonna take him down. Do a little bit of damage, and he roots me for five seconds, teleports away. Wait five seconds to do anything, teleport to him, he roots me for three seconds, teleports away. Okay, wait three seconds, use my maneuverability ability to run up to him, and he disorients me for five seconds and runs away. By the time I get back up to him, he ice blocks, he's invulnerable, full heal. Now all of his skills are reset, so he roots me again. So he teleports away. So he roots me again. So he teleports away. So he disorients me. So he teleports away. And it's just terribly unfun how much you're losing control of your character and how everyone has tools for everything. The classes all feel the same at this point. And hero classes did a number on that because the hero classes require certain abilities. Like if you're a warrior and you're going Slayer, you have to take Bladestorm. If you're going Mountain Thane, you have to take Thunderclap, which means you have even less choice. Not that you really had any to begin with if you want to do anything PvP or meta. And I know I already harped on the art team, but I'm going to do it a little bit more here. I'm, I'm going to defend them maybe and say that it's not entirely for their fault. Obviously, this game is 20 years old. It's going to look bad and aged and dated and it clearly does 
the only way Blizzard's going to fix this mess, the only way they're going to get out of this rut of launching bad expansion after bad expansion is if they really take the plunge and make World of Warcraft 2, rebuild it in a better engine with better graphics and rebuild it from the ground up, maybe without the need for a Holy Trinity or every quest to be a fetch quest or go kill 10 XYZs. Now, Blizzard has said, you know, trust us, this is a trilogy, so the story is going to unfold over the course of multiple years, so you're only seeing the very beginning of it now. But if it's this boring and terrible to start with, do I really want to buy two more expansions and give them the benefit of the doubt for two more years for it to finally get good? It's like all the people who tell you that if you watch One Piece and don't like it, you just you just got to watch the first 300 episodes. It gets good after 300 episodes. Well, guess what? I don't want to watch 300 bad episodes before it starts to maybe get good. I want it to be good from the start. In conclusion, there is nothing here for WoW players. World of Warcraft has continued to fail expansion over expansion, and this is just one more failure on top of all that. The golden age of WoW will never get back. If you're subscribed because you're playing classic WoW, well, we're catching up to modern day WoW because we're going to get Mist of Pandaria here soon, which I am excited for that one because that was the last good expansion that they put out. But time marches ever forward and leaves WoW behind. As always, if you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching and have a blessed day.